Hiya, Doc. So today I'm going to show you something that I have taught at a class at Professional Beauty. And it's for the Learner Skill Competition. If you've never competed before, the Learner Skill Competition is the best starting point. Uh, maybe we'll, we will put the links up below for those mm -hmm. kind of competitions because they are definitely the first step. But we're going to show you what I'm going to teach them. And let's see if you can... I'll give it a go yourself, okay? We are working on Aliana because she stays still the best. She's a good girl. We like her. Most of the time. Sometimes she can be a Stop <laughs> She's so chatty. The conversations are just amazing, honest. Right, so we're going to start off. We've got a tip already. So this could be done on somebody who's got an extension or it could be done on natural nail. But this is kind of mainly focused on a skill. So what I do in this competition is learn you a skill. Hence, it's called learn a skill. Okay, are you still with me? I hope so. Right, so we're going to put on base coat just for longevity. Um, and we're literally just going to do a very, very, very thin layer of base coat. That's going to give us great adhesion. And we're going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Next colour, and these are steps are important, is Beige Dave. Beige Dave is a beige, believe it or not. I mean, would you have thought it was going to be a beige? <laughs> it's beige, Dave. It's basically a sandy kind of beige. Or a boring bloke. Or a boring bloke. Because <laughs> you know these beige Dave's a bit like, oh, boring! So we're going to do a coat of this colour all over the nail. From top to bottom. That's just instantly made me think of top and tailing. You know when you were a child and you top and tail with your mate and you had their stinky feet in your face? I, I, know, always... I never quite understood that. No, I don't get it. Why would yeah. you top and tail? Why don't you just both put your head at the top? Yeah. Why? Like, it's way better. <laughs> you can like have conversations. Yes, you have their stinky breath in the morning, but you haven't got feet in your face. Because your mum would go, oh, you can top and tail. Mm. No, mum. We can just sleep like normal people. <laughs> <laughs> Made it more exciting. I don't think it did. Mm. <laughs> I never liked top and tailing with my brother because he has got stinky feet. Like bad. One more coat to get, get the true colour. I want to make sure it's nice and thin. Now, in the Trends and Techniques competition, the competitors have an hour. In that hour, they need to complete a nail that is a copy of what I teach them. And then the other two nails, so they do three nails in an hour, the other um, two nails, they put a twist on the design. So using the same technique, but they do their own twist on it. So this is where they can really utilize their creativity. And it's very much like um, if you have a client sat in front of you and they want something, like say they want acrylic 3D, but they don't really know what they want, then you can, you have to think on the moment. At that point, you're gonna be thinking, right, okay, what can I do? Bum, 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 and the cogs have to start turning sometimes they don't turn very well do they and you're like oh i don't really know what to do but this kind of forces you to think really hard and think about other designs you could do with that technique so it's a great competition not only for competing because you have that experience but also putting you under that bit of pressure where you have to think on the spot next color is the karen <laughs> my mother yeah this is named after Adam's mum. The Karen. She's the like Karen. the Karen. The first. The first. <laughs> now we need to do this very thin because what we're creating is like a sandy effect. Now this is a flash gel. I'm going to take off the excess and we're going to do it very, very thin. So literally kind of dragging those particles onto the nail. 
because we still want to see the colour behind it. Now once you're happy you've got enough on there, we are going to take the excess off again and really drag through. And it already looks quite sandy, doesn't it? Oh, how we wish we were at the beach in a nice warm climate. Mm. Beach holiday. Yeah. Pop that into the lamp. How do you stay in June? Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, so mm. the one's physical that. So, week. Where do you stay? Has it got like a room? Oh, for? Like a villa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just stay yeah. You can have Isaac. I mean, here, go and enjoy yourselves. Yay! <laughs> so it's like a holiday with built in childcare. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now can I know I... why you go away with your dad quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always take the grandparents. <laughs> yeah. The next colour that I'm going to use is Bally. Now, this is from the SFX top coat range, and this is in matte. Can you see how the, the bottle is matte? And it is, can you see? It's got those little particles of black specks of glitter, different sizes, and it's matte. So we're going to put this on the entire length. This is named after my black cat. It is. Bally. She loves it. She loves coming over and sitting with me now. Does she? Yeah. So this is going to go matte once it goes into the lab. This colour is also really good for Easter because you can do all your mini egg designs with it. It's so, so good. Yeah, she used to hate me. She never liked me, but now I'm my favourite person now. Really? Because of Boris. Because obviously Boris is Mammy's dog. Right. I've now got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like, I don't want to go anywhere near her. So she comes and sits with me. Like, as soon as I sit down, she's there next to us. Aww. She's a little old lady who just needs cuddle. Yeah. So you can see how that's gone matte. So we've got this sort of sand texture. So it's still smooth, but it appears to be textured because we can see the colour of the Karen in there as well you know a muted reflection which i love which you kind of get from sand because it's made from stuff that's like glass it's not glass but they make glass from sand don't they am i right Helen? they make glass from sand yeah. yeah so it has a little sheen a little sparkle but it's not really sparkly so this is what we are creating this sand beach kind of effect okay that can be used for lots of different things and i'm sure your brain is now thinking what else could we use this for so yeah that's that's what we need to be doing okay so next product we're going to use is marshmallow white from our acrogel range you'll need a spatula we're going to put it in the easy squeezy which is a lovely device that it goes into and it just squeezes the living day lights out of it. And you turn the key here and it will push out the product. And we want enough to be able to kind of do a smile line. So if we think this product needs to spread on the nail to create a smile line. Now I am. I knew you'd lost. be a bit confused now. <laughs> Very confused. You'll understand when I kind of when I show you the next steps. So we've got aqua gel on there. Clean up solution in a little dampen dish. We've got the make and scrape brush, which is also a scraper for removing nails when you've soaked them. And then we've got the make and scrape brush in the cleanup solution. Okay, so we're going to move this around and we're going to move it into the shape of a smile line. That's your first step to kind of get a bit of a smile line. After you've done that, you want to get even application. So we can tap, press, pull this in to position. Fuzzy! I'm 
I'm actually going to take off a little bit of this because I feel like it's a little bit too thick. So just use the spatula. Just, just swipe through that. And then I can just create that shape again, but I can pack, press and pull this and get it a little bit thinner. It is a 3D effect that we're creating. Then you're going to need a 3D brush. You could use the Adam 3D, you could use the Alicia double-ended brush or just the Alicia 3D. And what we're going to do is we're going to kick in the side here like this to create this little sort of indent and the same this side. Now Adam, have you guessed what I'm doing here? Or are you still? Um, like, no. Uh, is it, you make a police badge? <laughs> I don't know, I'm so confused. That's the only thing I think has that sort of shape where it's got like a jut in. Yeah, there is some that are. I don't know. This is quite cool because this is what other people will be thinking while I'm doing it, so. I am very confused. But I kind of want to work it in the shape of a smile line just because it, it looks attractive on a nail. Now, the next part, you need your spatula to be clean of product. So I'm just gonna clean that with clean up solution just so I know that it's definitely nice and clean. We are gonna use the straight end, which is this one, because I've bent the other end because I wanted it to be bent for mixing. And then you're going to need some Glass slipper acrylic. Are you kidding me? You can't guess what that is from that shape already. No. Look at the overhead. I am. I'm looking at it. I don't know. It could be a lot of things. I don't know. Keep you guessing. Keep you guessing. I like it. And you're going to take the acrylic, the clear acrylic. I, I thought you. What? 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 <laughs> Like, I thought you were just going to pick up a bead, <laughs> and you're not. No, I'm not. So we're going to put some paper towel there. Right, so we're going to pick up the acrylic. Like this came from me just messing about and trying to figure out. If, you just sit around messing about all the time. I just mess you? around with products and see what we can do with it. Right, so we're going to put the acrylic on top of the acro gel. Nope. And let's just make I mean, sure. I've seen you do this kind of thing before. I haven't put this Actually, on. Actually, no, I have never seen you do this before. Never. I've seen you mix gel and acrylic before to like. I've seen you sugar with acrylic and then cure. Yeah. Which is this you sort of do in that, but not with aqua gel. I've never seen you do it. There's a fuzzy there. Let me just Check out that. My brain's sort of imploding here, I have no idea. You have no idea? No. To be fair, I will show the competitors what we're going to create. You're going to show them the finished nail before you... Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we've got the acrylic on there, tap off the excess. Then you're going to get your straight end and you're going to put it into your acrylic. Whether you tip that, where you put it in the pot, or you can put it into the loose acrylic that you've used. And then we're going to cut into this. What am I making? Ah! What is it? It's a shell. It's a shell! So I've been watching a YouTube or an Instagram, something, some content. <laughs> Somewhere on some social media. Who they they cultivate pearls. Cultivate pearls. What's that mean? So they harvest pearls. Yeah. From but then they put like a false pearl back in, made from the same stuff. Yeah. And then they put the the, the clam back. Yeah. 
and then a year or two later they'll go back to them and they'll take the pearl out and it'll be like a different colour and... Really? Yes. Oh my god, really that sounds pretty cool, that does. I'm going to get a crystal and I'm going to press this into the aqua gel and a couple more. Let's just neaten that up. Now we're going to pop this into the lamp. So what kind? What kind of shell is this? Is it clam shell? Uh, uh, yeah, they are clams. I think. Clam shell. Yeah. Them ones. Yeah. Oh, geez. Let's just just over, and then just to make sure there's nothing. On it, I'm just going to wipe over with clean up solution. Then, top coat. Over this shell. Just the shell. You want to push it into the recesses. But you still want to keep the definition. Pop that in the lamp. And then the next product we're going to use is the liquid chrome. And this is in Peacock Topaz. So this is going to give such a beautiful effect on the shell. It's going to make the shell like a pearl. It's just beautiful. We're going to use one of the rubber dubbers to help burnish it in. So you're going to apply it on. Make sure you shake the bottom. Shake the bottle to wait the drink. Shake that bottle to wait the drink. We're going to put the excess on to the applicator. We're going to rub, 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 rub. Keep burnishing, keep burnishing. Go in between the little gaps with the very tip of your applicator. Get rid of any excess. And it's burnishing. Then we're going to top coat over that to seal in the effect of the chrome. Pop that in the lamp. I'm just going to make sure there's no chrome on the mat. To be honest with you, it won't really stick to the mat because chrome and mat do not work. They are not friends. And there you are. We've created a shell on the nail in the shape of a smile line on the sand. I absolutely love it and this is where now what are you thinking what else could you do so my mind went a bit wild um, and I was thinking I could do starfish and you could press in do you know like they have little they're not suckers <laughs> they're like little things textured they are very textured very like, textured yeah but I thought if you press in with the Pammy Picker up here, maybe mm -hmm. create a bit of texture. But I did think you could do like octopus legs wrapping around the nail and press in and do suckers. Mm -hmm. Little suckers. Yeah, you could do things like I could do tiny little shells, you could do different shaped shells. You know, the ones that are like sort of curled, those mm -hmm. kind of shells, you could do that. But you could do other things, you can make little teddy bears. There's so much you could do. So the main thing about this technique is you put you sprinkle the acrylic on top of the aqua gel to make it not sticky so you can press tools into it so it doesn't stick at all if you put it into cleanup solution the or any kind of like 
slip solution that you use when you put that in that um tool into it it will leave like a pool of the liquid and then that can actually seep into the aqua gel and affect how it works so by using this technique you can emboss into it and press shapes into it and do so many you could do a cushioned nail there's so many different things you can do with this one technique not just shells so that's what the competitors will do on the day they will then have a little think about what the hell can i do with this technique and they don't have long they have an hour to do three nails but they have around half an hour to sort of think about the design. So they'll all be there on the phones and doing a bit of sketching and think about what they can do. And then they'll do it on the day. And I absolutely love this competition. We have so many beautiful nails created. So if you've ever thought about competing, then this is the competition for you. We run these at every single professional beauty exhibition, even the ones in Dublin. So. Get your bums there i would love to see you it's a different technique every single time so even if you come to every single competition you will learn something new on every single learner skill session and you can actually um you don't have to do the competition you could actually book on just to watch so you can still learn something so even if you just want to test the water and just come and see what it's like come along to the learner skill I absolutely love it. I would love to see you there. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I have never done a video on what I teach nice. for learning skill. So I just thought I'd give it a go and show you, show you what it's like. But yeah, I love the shell. Um, hopefully I'll see you professional beauty. But don't forget, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and everything I've used today, you will see a list of that in the description box with all the links. And I'll see you guys in the next video.